Let's take a circle and connect it to 18 other circles to create a network. The goal is to fill up all of these circles with integers ranging from 1 to 19 without repeating any of them in such a way so that whenever we add up the numbers inside three connected circles that are all lying on a straight line, we get the same total value every time, that value being 30. Just like with any puzzle, it's always a good idea to just give it a go and see if we can spot any clues along the way. Let's start off by filling up the circles along the vertical line with the numbers 9, 4, and 17. This seems like a reasonable way to start, since, well, 9 plus 4 plus 17 does, in fact, give us 30. But if we try to keep going from here and fill up the circles as we go along, we'll actually end up hitting a dead end with nowhere left to place these remaining numbers in order to complete the puzzle. So, where did we go wrong then? This is your chance to pause the video if you'd like to try this puzzle out on your own. This one's a bit on the easier side, so why not give it a go? So, as you might have guessed, the key to solving this puzzle is figuring out what number goes into the center circle. This is because the central circle is connected to every other circle, which means the number placed within it will be a part of every sum. If we try to place a larger number from our set in here, like, let's say, 18, then notice that none of the remaining circles will be able to hold the numbers 12 through 19, as this would cause the sum across any of those lines to surpass 30 no matter what number we choose to place within the third circle. Also notice that we can't place the number 6 in any circle as well, because if we did, then since 6 plus 18 gives us 24, then the only number we can place within the third circle at the end of this line to make the sum add up to 30 would be 6 which isn't possible since we're only allowed to use each integer once. Okay, what if we go with a number on the smaller end of our set to place within the central circle? Like, let's say, 3. Well, then again, we'll run into a similar issue. Except, this time, none of the remaining circles will be able to hold the numbers 1 through 7, as this would cause the sum across any of those lines to be too small. And not even placing the largest integer from our set, that being 19, within the third circle, will help push the sum up to 30. So, where do we go from here then? All we know is that the central number can't be too large, nor can it be too small. Well, let's fill the circles up with some variables and write all our sums as a system of 9 equations to get a better feel for what's going on first. So, we know that adding the first two circles across any straight line must give us a sum less than 30, as this is the only way to make sure that the third circle is usable, and that we can place a number from our set within it without the total sum exceeding 30. Similarly, we know that adding the first two circles across any straight line must give us a sum greater than 10, since even if just one of them ended up being equal to or less than 10, then there would be no number from our set, including the largest one, 19, that we can place within the third circle to make the sum add up to 30. Okay, great. We now have the following two conditions that the central circle must satisfy. But what are we supposed to do with this information? Well, let's examine them more closely. The first condition tells us that the central number added to any other number from our set must be less than 30. In other words, the central number must be less than 30 minus any other number from our set. So it must be less than 30 minus 1, 30 minus 2, all the way down to 30 minus 19. And this just ends up simplifying to tell us that the central number must be less than 11. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We can do the same thing with the second condition, which ends up implying that the central number must be greater than 10 minus any other number from our set. So, it must be greater than 10 minus 1, 10 minus 2, all the way down to 10 minus 19. And this, again, simplifies and tells us that the central number must be greater than 9. Putting these two conditions together, we can see that the central circle can only take on one number, that being 10. And there we have it. 
From here, we can easily fill up the remaining circles and solve the puzzle without any dead ends.